Hey, I'm Snarky. Welcome to my Elden Ring references video. How many references to other media did you spot in Elden Ring? Be warned, this video has heavy Elden Ring and Berserk spoilers. Let's jump right in. First up is Blythe, servant to Rani the Witch. His armor and wolf-like appearance remind me very strongly of Guts from the Berserk series, especially in the Berserker armor. It's a series that's very near and dear to my heart, and it's really nice to see so many references to it in this game. Melania. Blade of Mikola is probably the strongest boss in the entire game, but her helmet is a pretty strong reference as well. Also a reference to Berserk, yes, you're going to be hearing that a lot in this video. It looks a lot like a helmet worn by the character Farnese, a character who starts out hunting Guts, but after a series of pretty unfortunate events, ends up travelling with Guts as a part of his new travelling party. Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy, is a pretty disgusting dude, but he really takes things to the next level when he pulls the sword the Blasphemous Blade from the mouth of the God-Eating Serpent. Now this scene, and indeed the visuals of the sword itself, remind me a lot of the Sword of Actuation from Berserk. This is a sword that the Skull Knight creates, it's an amalgam of countless behelites that he's taken from apostles he's slain over the millennia. Now it's actually a pretty sick sword, it has the ability to cut through space itself. Unfortunately for the Skull Knight, it's this power that Femto uses to bring about the roar of the astral world, transforming the very planet itself and bringing mystical beings into reality. You can't go very far in the Lands Between without noticing the Erd Tree, but the same can be said about noticing the similarities to the World Spiral Tree from Berserk. Now I'm not saying Berserk created the idea of a world tree, but it's hard not to make that connection given the many other references to Berserk that appear in this game. This grisly tree near the Albanorix village looks almost exactly like a page lifted directly out of Berserk. This is the tree where Gambino finds baby guts. I searched around the tree in Elden Ring and tried to find a baby struggler, but all I could find was this dead old dude. Soulsborn veterans may be wondering, where have I heard this song from before? This song played by the nomadic merchants. Well, let's have a listen and see if you can pick it. Did you get it? It's actually German's theme from Bloodborne. Uh, German is the first hunter and the final boss in most playthroughs of Bloodborne. Uh, a truly awesome final boss in my opinion. This one's a bit tricky because it's not actually obtainable in-game through normal means, but the entwining umbilical cords really do remind me of the one-third of umbilical cord from Bloodborne. Three of these items give you the ability to turn into a Great One. In Elden Ring it appears to just be a gender swap item, which is a whole lot less interesting than being able to turn into an Eldritch God. Perhaps your single greatest ally in all of Elden Ring is the smithing master Hugh. Now go figure, Hugh reminds me of someone from Berserk and that someone is Godot, the smith who helps Guts out throughout his life, providing him with various armaments including the artificial hand he uses in place of the one he lost. Now Hugh and Godot have a lot of similarities including their all-consuming desire to craft the greatest weapons that ever were. This one feels like low hanging fruit, but look the similarities between the Great Sword and the Dragon Slayer from Berserk. I'm yet to see a Guts cosplayer who's not using this sword. No doubt you've noticed a bunch of these shrines dotted all over the lands between. These are memorials that give a little bit of lore and backstory about the world in which Elden Ring takes place. 
To me, these are the spitting image of the Hill of Swords from Berserk, a memorial made by Rickert to honour his family, the Band of the Hawk, who were slaughtered during the fateful events of the Eclipse. Star Scourge Radan is an epic boss, but I just can't help noticing some similarities here between him and Grunbeld from Berserk. Especially the helmet, just the way we've got those teeth and the tusks out the side, it looks very similar to me. If you've completed the Rani questline, you'll have this sword, the Dark Moon Greatsword. But pay special attention to the unique skill, Moonlight Greatsword. This is actually a reference to a recurring weapon that's appeared in a bunch of From Software games dating all the way back to Kingsfield on the PS1. Okay, I went a little bit cinematic with this one to try and sell my point, but the Prisoner set gives me mad Griffith vibes, especially from the chapters leading up to the Eclipse and the most infamous moments from the manga. I don't know about you, but I took a lot of pleasure from beating the crap out of Patches, mostly because this is my first time running into this guy. I've been falling for his tricks since Demon Soul, so I take any opportunity to give him some of his own medicine back. Okay, this final one is about as obvious as they come. It's no secret that George R. R. Martin provided a bunch of the lore for Elden Ring, and it's easy to see where the inspiration for the grafted greatsword came from. Okay, that's all I've got. That's all the references I thought were worth mentioning. We all know how much of a big nerd for Berserk Miyazaki is, just like myself, so no doubt there's a couple more that I might have missed. If you spotted any, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It all helps out. Maybe I'll keep on doing these videos into the future. Thanks very much.